Guys, we have so much stuff to open. It is insane. You got no no. It's King Bear So as I predicted in the last Fan Mail Monday, I said that this Fan Mail Monday was going to be insane. I knew it was going to be insane. <laughs> and sure enough, we have two packages. I'm not going to lie. And one of these packages, um, I forget which one. I do know what one of the items is. But for the rest of the stuff, I genuinely do not know. I have no idea what you guys have sent me. But if you guys want to send me your Fan Mail, the P.O. Box is 1391 Owasso, Oklahoma 74055. And if you want cards signed and sent back to you, be sure to stamp and address an envelope in with your card so I have something to send them back in. But now, with all of that said, let's go ahead and get into this. I am so excited. As always, we're going to be saving the packages for last. So um, let's do, uh, I mean, we can do one package to start this off with. Let's go ahead and start off with this one. It doesn't feel like there's anything on this side. Sure enough, there is not. All right, let's see what we have here. Feels like we got some cards and a letter. It's usually how it works. Oh, no, I was way wrong. Whoa, we have a... We have a oh, structure deck, a blue eyes white dragon structure deck mat. That is really, really cool. Um, I think someone, did someone send me this one? You guys, because you guys know I collect these. Actually, um, these, I might, I might like, take this uh, wall down over here, the mat wall, and replace it with these like I originally said. But the thing is, why I didn't do that in the first place is because these reflect a lot of light. And, you know, I use lighting to, you know, generate as, you know, the best quality that I can, you know, with this, with this camera and this camera, because uh, this camera is not the best camera so it needs a lot of light but hey cyber dragons wow this is crazy let's see what this says this someone i can't remember if i have this one or not i'll have to check i will have to check dear yugi jesus oh lord whose power surpasses that of the egyptian god cards anyways hi my name is zachary on youtube i am known as king pounzer king king ponzer <laughs> what it's p-w-n-z-e-r so i guess it's ponzer <laughs> and my uh, Yu-Gi-Oh channel is called uh Ki Team Curry Bandit. See, nice. I would like it if you watched my video about how I think the next ban list will affect Zoo. Sure. Uh, just uh, send me a message or leave a comment or remind me because I have like a lot of stuff to do today. But yeah, be sure to remind me. Uh, remind me. Um, I'm also on Amino, by the way, as uh, King Bonezer. <laughs> Say hi if you like. Um, in this envelope, um, you shall find a paper mat for the Blue Eyes deck. I hope you like it. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, it's really cool. Also, if you don't mind, um, I'd like to uh, I'd like you to sign a couple of cards for me. I don't have extra stamps to give back, but you're a good guy. I trust you. Yeah, I do have extra stamps because in the past you guys have sent me stamps and I reserve those stamps, I promise. The stamps that you guys have sent me, um, you know, I've reserved them for Mail Monday, so I do have some extra ones. I even have Canadian stamps. I have extra Canadian stamps. I don't know what to do with them, but I have them. <laughs> but I'm also very uh, patient. So if you have to wait a few uh, days uh, uh, to a week, that's fine. P.S. Any uh, any hollows in the envelope are yours to keep. Oh, thanks. Keep up the good content. And sorry for my handwriting. Zachary slash uh, King Ponzer. P.S. Um, almost sent change track for lols. Mailing address on back. Okay, so I won't flip this over because his mailing address is on the back. But yeah, so sweet. Dude, thank you so much for the mat. Like I said, um, I don't know if I have that one or not, so, you know, because I do collect those. And we have, oh man, Karibo, Red Eyes, Black Dragon, Pot of Greed, and two Cyber Dragons. Both arts for Cyber Dragons. I uh, personally prefer the, um, you know, the uh, alternate arts. Um, a lot of people prefer the original art. I just think the ultimate, the alternate, sorry, the alternate art, um, especially in Secret Rare. Those have always been my lucky Cyber Dragons. But I also like the Evolution Burst um, Cyber Dragons that a fan made me. Those are really freaking cool. Like, they're really awesome. Awesome. But what else? What did he send? What did he send? Oh my gosh! <laughs> hey! We have a Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Tiger King, a Giant Rat, a Mermail, a Bistius, and a Sadion, a Sadion, however you say it, the Time Lord. Thank you so much. That is awesome, dude. Let's go ahead and get your cards signed right now. So those are all signed now. Thank you so much for your fan mail. I will be sure to get these back to you. All right, all right, all right. Let's move on to this envelope. Let's see what we have here. We have our trusty letter opener. Try not to rip anything because uh, this feels like there's, yeah, the letter like takes up the whole thing. So yes, it does. So it's a good thing I didn't try to take through because I think there's a return envelope yep there is a, there's a letter and a return envelope let's go ahead and get those out of here so there's the letter and some cards uh, here are cards for you to keep oh dude that's awesome thank you and then uh, fake cards for you to keep hey we got fake cards no way I need to do another one of those fake card duels those that was like really really painful but it was, it was a lot of fun it was it really was a lot of fun all right let's see what this says uh, dear Yugi no no I am a huge fan of yours and I love your uh, recipe 
tees and your funny shorts. So I thought uh, to give you some cards to keep and sign. The cards in the blue and green are yours to keep. The red I would like you to sign and return. I gave you some fakes and some hero cards. Be sure to read the fakes and sorry. Sorry my handwriting sucks. I'm using a marker on, uh, on an uneven surface. <laughs> I think that's what that says. That makes sense. Hashtag links suck. I actually have grown used to. I think they're fun. I need to do a video on that. Like, I think they've gotten funner. Uh, you know, I've, they've grown on me anyways. I think they've grown on me. But I uh, love uh, a ghost trick user. Hey, maybe that's why he doesn't like links. But ghost tricks are getting more support. So uh, maybe that will uh, help out the deck. Let's see what these fake cards are. Let's Because he wants me to read them. So uh, let's get the, those out of the way. So super uh, magic swordsman. Magic user combination effect. Um, um, only combined for a special call. Work in the field on its right side. Present one card on hand to make the magic card invalid, and then 500 points will be on this card. <laughs> Broke. A uh, Karusi uh, fighter. Um, arrive in the field or in hand under the ceremony. Karusi presents your cards on hand or in field to make stars more than eight. <laughs> <laughs> These are ridiculous. Uh, cheer, uh, cheer, uh, cheer coast, dark master, old religion type, dark strength destroy the attacking monster in the traditional is more strength than pride. <laughs> and then a primitive god Saroga war envoy, witchcraft tribe. This card cannot be called generally <laughs> during the game after delete of the fire nature monster and dark nature. I, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> It's a ridiculous. They're so hard to read. Well, at least we have a BLS now. We'll have to try to like play that if we do another one of those videos. But all right. Uh, then uh, he wants me to sign these. So let's get these signed real quick. Uh, we have a sandwich. Dark Necrofear. Very nice. I actually have a play set of these same secret rare uh, Dark Necrofears. A uh, perfectly ultimate great moth. <laughs> Broken. Dragon Knight. Uh, Draco. Uh, es Esquits. Uh, no, Esquits. Whatever. <laughs> uh, Summon Skull. I have the Summon Skull too. It's actually, I like this one a lot because it reminds me of the Bandai Summon skull a lot if you guys would recall that um so, uh, solar recharge and then hey speaking of evolution burst from earlier an evolution burst this is really cool yeah i'm a fan of mine a while back he uh, used this art and made me some alternate cyber dragons it's really really cool it was amazing um eradicator epidemic virus this card this card could go back to three totally like totally right <laughs> I want it to anyways because it's like really really fun to play but let's get these signed all right those are all signed I'll be sure to get these back to you let's see what hero cards hey, hey evil hero malicious edge elemental hero blade edge elemental hero poison rose hey I've never seen that one before actually man that she's really cool why there's a hero card I haven't seen what that's crazy. That's really, really cool. I've seen Woodsman. Okay, a little bit of Hero Woods, but this one's really, really good because uh, it adds the yeah, poly, but it's like kind of slow. But yeah, but it still adds a poly. I mean, it used to be like better than it is because now we have like way better cards like Fluffle Owl, for example, you know. And we have Rosebud and Elemental Hero Voltic. Very, very cool. I've, did, I've seen this one too. But yeah, like that other one, I've actually never seen her before. That is crazy. But thank you so much for these cards, dude. These are like really, really cool. I love hero cards and I will be sure to get all these signed cards right back to you. All right, let's go ahead and do another smaller package. Then we have one envelope, then we'll get into the big packages. Ah, all right, let's see what this is all about. This one, I can just crack open. What is this? What, what are these? What, 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 is, what is this weeb shit? Magic the Gathering, ah, it burns my skin. Why? No, no Magic the Gathering. Ah, it burns, it burns. He gave me a whole return envelope for tr with track on it okay this is more like it elemental heroes this is like this is more like it that ugh, it burns it burns all right we have a letter and I think that is all of it no no there's something else in here what is that oh a dice hey that's actually pretty cool what is that the skull dice actually looks like you know what's crazy is it looks like marshmallow almost if you if you guys remember marshmallow <laughs> it looks like that and then uh, what, this is pretty cool like uh, maybe this is Millennium Shield or something I don't know I'm not, maybe I'm stretching maybe I'm reaching here I don't know let's see what this says Hola, Senor Yugi CC. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. Jesus. I am terrible at uh, f formulating words into something with meaning. Also, I apologize for my horrid handwriting, but I damaged my wrist, and this is all I can manage. No, that's fine. It's very legible. First of all, I'd like to thank you for getting my friend back into Yu-Gi-Oh! He's a huge fan of your Cyber Dragons since a Chimera Tech OTK. He loves your Cyber Dragon builds, and it's the only deck he keeps up with. My son also likes watching you, but he's only four months old. That's, oh, that's cool. Uh, maybe... 
Maybe watch the videos where I don't cuss as much. <laughs> and that's what's crazy is I met like so many kids and dads and I was like talking to their parents and stuff. And I was like, man, maybe I should stop cursing. <laughs> you know? And I, I, I probably should cut back. But like some of the hate videos, it's just too funny. It's just too funny to let the, the me gusta, the disgustable. It's funny to let him go uh, crazy. But personally, I've mostly moved on to other card games. Final Fantasy TCG being my favorite right now. Uh, you rank 10, uh, M Cole 40, DP Yu-Gi-Oh! and C Moo! <laughs> he wrote like a million O's. <laughs> C Moo! Oh my gosh. By the way, C Moo, he doesn't hate me. We get along, but he low key hates me for getting everybody calling him C Moo. <laughs> That's his name, though. I'm just, I'm, I'm correcting him. I'm correcting him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Are the only uh, Yugi tubers I care to watch? Finally, I've enclosed my favorite um, FFTCG card. Oh, Final Fantasy TCG. Okay, and three of my favorite E Hero to sign, along with a fun pack I've put together for you to open up. Hey! All right, so so he this isn't magic, okay? So there's gonna be Yu-Gi-Oh cards in here. Again, thank you for all of the joy you bring to not only me but to all the fans you've touched and will continue to. Return envelope with return address on it inside. Got it. Also, drawing on the back. Thank you, DJ. Thank you so much for watching. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't do this. I mean, you're. I mean, like literally, I'm nothing without you know people watching me and, and, and appreciating what I do. And I try to give back, you know, in every way that I can. This series being the main way that I give back to you guys. But uh, cards, uh, so many cards, Cyber Dragon, dank this, censored, oh, dick slapped that like button. <laughs> Thank you so much. If you guys wonder what happens to all my fan mail, actually, I'm using I'm using uh, the, the legendary collection boxes for like my camera stand for this right now. But, um, and I have like, you know, those legendary collection boxes. I have like two of them now, like full of like all of your uh, mail and stuff. The envelopes are obviously like, you know, shred and throw away and stuff because they have your addresses on them and stuff. But um, the, the letters themselves, I keep, I definitely keep. So he wants me to sign his three elemental hero Sparkman and his favorite Final Fantasy card, which is, it just says lightning. Yeah, this says lightning. These, oh, these card backs are kind of cool. I dig that. I really dig that. All right, let's get these signed. Let's get these signed. All right, these are all signed. I will be sure to get these back to you in your top loaders, of course. Set those over there with your return envelope. And let's see what pack this is. Now that I know that it's not Magic the Gathering, actually, I could touch it and it doesn't burn me. All right. <laughs> all right, let's see. Uh, let's see what this is. I, I'm trying to get this open here. So after an hour... I think I'm finally gonna be able to open this. Maybe this, oh, there we go. I don't know where my scissors are. Hey, <laughs> what is this? We have a larvae moth, of course. Oh, hey, and it's a first ed Spanish. Wow, larvae moth. Hitmonchan, hey, hey, oh, Pokemon cards? Oh no, oh no, 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 there is magic cards in here. Ah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can mess with them. All right, uh, you saw the uh, Wanderer Bard. Um, something in Korean or Japanese or something. Hey, a Marshmallow, a fan-made Dice Melon's Dice Masters card. Oh, that's what that is? Oh, so it was Marshmallow. I was right. See, man, I'm terrible. I, I forgot all about the Dice Masters game. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that's crazy. That's what that is. Got you. Okay, I got you. All right, a Viking Oblivion Ring, a Cloud... Um, imaginary champion, di dance fever, just cookie. What is this? One eyed skill gainer. I mean, it sounds like one eye. Anything that says one eyed, I just immediately think of dicks. I don't know why. But uh, like Cyclops. We have a uh, energy search. Uh, Naruto way of the ninja. Mighty, uh, mighty guy, Afro. <laughs> what is this? Mountain basic land, you know, for Magic the Gathering. And then horror. So what is the, I guess that's a magic card too. Really weird variety of stuff, I'm not gonna lie, but thank you so much, dude, thank you so much. These, these are really, really cool. And then Hitmonchan, Hitmonchan is really cool. That's actually kind of, I have one of these myself because I have all my Pokemon cards from when I was a kid. Maybe I'll show you guys my Pokemon collection one of these days because I still have them from when I was really young. Like, you know, all the first, you know, the original 150, 151 Pokemon, yeah, I got, I got those. I'm actually a little embarrassed that I didn't catch that that was Marshmallow. I'm like, I, I knew it looked like Marshmallow, but man, I just, I don't keep up with other games, guys. I really don't. I barely keep up with Yu-Gi-Oh, it seems like. But yeah, dude, thank you so much for the stuff. I'll be sure to get all these cards signed and sent back to you. All right, you guys, last envelope. Last envelope looks like we have, a, oh, sweet, dude. So there's the return envelope. Very nice. Uh, another pack? What? Are you, what is this? What? 
What is that? Okay, so, oh, that's from the new movie. Hey, an obelisk, the Tormentor from the new movie. This is unopened. Very, very cool. Very cool. I actually didn't go see the movie, so that's even more awesome. Uh, let's see what order I should, like, read these in. I guess uh, this is, like, wrapped up, so I don't know. So let's read this and see what instructions we might have. Okay, this is this is the front side. Okay, so, dear Yugi, no, no, yes, yes, maybe, maybe, perhaps, perhaps, sometimes, sometimes. My name is Chris uh, Bakuska, uh, Buska, uh, Bu I don't know. I have been watching you for so long I cannot uh, keep track. You probably don't remember talking, uh, talk, me talking to you on Facebook a while ago because you have so many of the best fans. I get messages all the time. Chris, uh, man, I'm so bad with names. After uh, your trip to Chicago and you protected your fans, I messaged you on Facebook telling you how amazing that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and, you and a few people actually did that. You are super amazing and deserve the world's best fans. Uh, Yugi, Yugi Jesus powers confirmed. I bought a legendary collection, Yugi's World earlier. I called upon your Yugi Jesus powers, and I kid you not, I pulled three. Yes, three! Secret Rare Dark Magician Girls from the box. Friggin' busted. I figured I owe you, I owe that to you, and you deserve one of them. Oh, dude! Oh, that's what this this wrapped up is. That's awesome. I also don't know if you already have a Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Side of Dimension alternate or obelisk. I don't know, I don't. Or not, but I figured it's appropriate. Dad? <laughs> Question mark, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because, uh, yeah, Obelisk is, is my father. Yeah, well, well, Obelisk is my dad, and the guy that does the voice of Obelisk in one of my videos is also my dad. And then, you know, I have a dad issue. <laughs> I plan on becoming a regular on here for a while. I have lots of ideas and things that I can send you. If you want pins, statues, I, I, I mean, I have a lot of stuff already, but I mean, I, I, I'm running out of room in here, but I can always find room for more stuff to, to, to feature in videos and stuff, absolutely. Um, but um, pin statues, uh, magazines, play mats, and I have so many play mats. I do too. I put them on the wall. I have so many cards, etc. I have uh, some great ideas for fake cards for you. Anyways, keep it up, oh, Yugi. No, no, you're awesome. No, you're awesome. Just let us know if there's specific things you still need to collect. Um, I See, I don't really collect. I mean, there's, there's some cards I would like. I mean, for the most part, I have all the cards that I want, really. I mean, I have, um, you know, my Cyber Dragon deck complete. I have my Herald complete. And I have my Monarchs complete. Those are really the only three decks that I care to play. I don't really care to play meta anymore. There, there's times where I feel like I should, you know, be more competitive and, you know, go to more events and stuff and see more of you guys, you know, like I used to. But, like, there's just, I, I've kind of lost the will to, like, you know, really try all that hard. Um, cause just because it's so expensive, plus, you know, um, travel does take me away from my girlfriend and stuff and you know it's and, and like to be honest it's like okay be in a room full of sweaty dudes or be at home with my beautiful girlfriend like what what like, what do you really do what do you really do but anyway so yeah so i only go to so many Yu-Gi-Oh events but th this is awesome this is gonna be freaking killer oh dude dark magician girl in all of her glory it's gonna be freaking awesome so killer oh man he sent me two of them he's a madman oh my gosh these are amazing these are so beautiful dark magician girl in all of her glory just as hot as ever you can't cover those boobs up you can't cover those up we see right through that dress i'm just kidding we see through that room if you call if you <laughs> God, I'm, ter I'm a terrible influence. <laughs> if you could sign one of them and return it. Oh, okay, so he didn't send me two. Okay, yeah, absolutely. I can, I can sign one. Yes, absolutely. If you could sign one of them and return it, that would be great. And I don't know um, how you would feel about it, but if you wanted to, you could send the other one back too. Oh, he said other one back too, and I could sign it for you? No, no, dude, it's fine. It's fine. I don't need them. I don't really know how you feel about fan signing stuff for you, and you want, may want the Dark Magician Girl untouched, so I understand if you do not want to. If you want to send it back, that's, I mean, that's all you do. This is, I mean, this is your property. This is your property. I mean, I'm in possession of it right now, but it's your property, you know what I mean? Like I said, the obelisk is for you, and I have another Trish to send you, but I have misplaced it. Oh, well, that's fine, dude. Like, oh, dude, this is awesome. Like, just being able to, like, sign these for you guys, like, you know, sign cards for you guys is just more than enough. I mean, you guys, a lot of you are just really generous and send me stuff. This person is no different sending me like obelisk and all that stuff and it's it's amazing like you know i'm always you know i'm always collecting i, I don't really buy cards anymore really i mean when i do buy cards it's like just so i have like you know a quick video to make you guys but let's see like this obelisk the tormentor yes 
Oh, in all of its glory. The alternate art looks really, really cool. I could pass on the gold rare on the, on the, you know, on the reprints of these guys. I think that it makes them look kind of meh, but I think the art itself is just amazing. It's just really, really cool. Thank you so, so much again, dude, and I will be sure to get all this back to you. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get into these bigger packages. We have two of them to open. This is just crazy. It's massive. I love, I love these, like, huge openings, dude. They're, they're like, so much fun. These videos are so fun to make. Whoa! Dude, what is this? He sent me a whole bind. What? Okay, so there's a whole binder in here. Some Canadian stamp. Like these, yeah, these are are these Canadian? No, no, no. These are Forever USA. Okay, I do have some Canadian stamps that oddly look kind of like that though. I, I just forget. Like sometimes I get confused because I get I get mail from like everywhere. But yeah, there's these cards. What? What is this? Okay, so hold on now. Hold on. Hold on, is there, is there something I'm missing here? Is there someone messaged me something and I completely forgot that there's stamps in here? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, okay, there we go. I'm, I was so lost, I was so confused. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> this is crazy, I'm like overwhelmed right now. Dear Yugi No No, I've been subscribed to your channel for over a year, MVP. I'd like to say thank you for all the content that you have created for YouTube. I love all of the skits you do, they always have me laughing. It would be awesome if you assign the cards in the white sleeves. Now, regarding the old, so the white sleeves were the Karibos. Okay, so the Karibos. All right, and then now regarding the Ultra Pro Binder, I want you to fill it up with the strongest monster in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Maybe you could use it in future skits or troll people at locals with trading. I'm hoping that this binder could get completely filled. He gave me a binder from Larvae Moss. No way, dude. So can you look into the camera and say, send me every copy of Larvae Moss? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, uh, Sean McMahon. Alright, P.S. This is probably the, the neatest I've ever written. It's very, very good. All right, you guys, did he give me something to start off with? Oh, dude, did he? No, he gave me some sleeves, though. Me, oh, wait, no, maybe he did give me some stuff to start off with. Oh, man! This is the only Bandai card I've ever gotten. Wow! That's a hell of a way to start off the binder. Wow, that is a, that is a Bandai Great Moth? Whoa! And a Bandai Larvae Moth, dude! These are the only Bandai cards I own. I'm not even kidding. Dude, thank you so much. That That is awesome. Dude, yes, absolutely. I want to fill this binder up. I want every copy of Larvae Moth. Bandai, non-Bandai. I'm, you know what, I'm gonna do a whole separate video after this where I'm gonna start filling this baby up. I'm gonna start filling this up. All right, and I got your return envelope. I got your stamps, absolutely. I will sign your Karibos, dude. Let's get those signed right now. Dude, you are a madman, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's like the best, that's the best troll you could possibly do. Like, okay, it's like, yeah, this is like a major, like long-term troll. <laughs> it's, I mean, honestly, the joke's gotten like, I wouldn't say completely out of control, but like it's it's my fault. It really is my fault. But you know, someone like you know, it's uh, Yuki Jesus and Larvae Moth. It just goes hand in hand. It just works. It just works, dude. Thank you so much. That is that is awesome. And dude, those Bandai cards look sick. They are way way sick. These are gonna be at the very front of the binder. Dude, thank you, thank you very, very much. I will get these sent back to you. You are a madman. You are the true MVP. Um, I'm gonna do another short video after this, I swear, and uh, that's just gonna be a standalone video, and it's just gonna be me filling this up with Larvae Moths. Be sure, guys, be sure to send me every copy of Larvae Moth that you have. I want to collect them all, why not? Let's just take the joke to that level. I don't even care anymore. All right, you guys, so we are down to our last package, and I'm not gonna lie, I know what one thing in this package is, but the rest of it, I don't, I don't know. I have no idea what he sent me. Um, I asked for, I'm not gonna ruin the surprise, okay? I'm just gonna let you see what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like pull, pull it out and like let you know what I know. And then uh, the rest of it we can like, <laughs> we can go, as, we can just take it as we go. So uh, this right here, this right here is a Bane mask from The Dark Die Rises. I needed this for a skits, and this is what I knew. <laughs> this, is, this is the one thing I knew out of this. And, um, 
I need this for a skit. It's gonna be really, really good. Um, I don't know when I'm going to film it because I'm not done scripting it yet. So basically what happened is I posted on my Facebook page. I was like, I need, I'm, I'm scripting stuff. Um, I need a Bane mask for, <laughs> for, for this idea I have. And within like five minutes, Sean, dude, MVP, MVP. My fans are just the best fans. Within five minutes, he's like, yeah, I got a Bane mask. I'll send it to you. And I'm just like, rock fucking on, dude. Hell yeah. So I have, so I have like a skit to do. Now I'm like way, way obligated to do it because he, he sent me this mask to do it with. And then, oh my gosh, dude, what? You are a madman, Sean. Oh my God, dude. You are a complete madman. Unopened box of pendulum evolution. You are a madman. Wow, and now I have a like a whole box to open. Oh, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you so so much. Now I have something else to film. Like, dude, I will have to I will have to open this <laughs> and make a video out of it. Dude, thank you very very much. You are a madman. We've had so many just absolute madmen in this video. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say except for speaking of madmen. You must be sure to dick slap that like button and subscribe.